Welcome to ARC 313, video 20. Um, this is the penultimate week of um, video lessons here in watercolor. I just wanted to show you what it, it became after I started adding a lot of the shades and shadows. So, you know, we're starting to hit the soffits with the shades and then hitting the shadows underneath. And the darkest parts end up becoming the windows that are in shadow. So if, if we assign a value of 10, the you know, the darkest, that would be in the windows. And it looks like I need to add a little bit more of that in here on the overhead sectional garage door and these windows down here. Then um, then the shadows are, you know, eights and nines and the shades are sevens and sixes. I added a little bit more depth in here in the cleave just to bring out this rainwater leader chain that's in white. Um, I wanted to show you something. I ended up accidentally going over the white here. So uh, one way to repair that is just get an X-Acto knife and you can just scrape away the excess to get back down to the white paper underneath. And you can't do this for an entire painting, but if you have just a short, small little detail that you want to be white again, all you have to do is just get out your X-Acto knife and scrape that out. So that's another little technique I discovered over the years. So the last thing I just need to do here is add the last bit of uh, Payne's Gray in these window zones here just to get it super dark. There. And the overhead section of the garage door. Notice I'm still leaving the uh, mullions of the windows as a lighter gray, so they still show up even in the shades. So I'm really only puncturing out the, the actual glass part of the glazing. That becomes the darkest part. And this one down here too. And I think these are reading pretty well already. Maybe I'll add a little bit more in here just to make this super dark. Notice how I turned the painting upside down because I knew this was wet, so if I were to go over that, I could potentially put my hand on the wet paint and, and ruin it. So there's our final detail of the Bikini Residence by Moam Architects. You, um, for your sketches of the day, are doing the larger one, but I just wanted to you know, give, it, give you an example of how to do these things, foliage, sky, materiality, shades and shadows, translucency, um, and then and then getting some depth in the painting. So now you're good to go. As you know, there's no more homework per se, but what you're supposed to be just working on renderings of your final design project this week, next week, and the week after that, all due on the 12th of June. Have a great week of painting. See you later.